Akhtar because he's he's against the bill uh, the signing of the executive order saying that we need to get um uh, give illegal immigrants license in this country. We need to have them get laptops here. We need to give them more free stuff. Give them amnesty. And did you know, by the way, too, uh, Obama executive order, uh, you for cars requirement for cars requirement for you to pick up trash, you have to have you have to have a cars degree now to pick up trash in a state park or a, or a, a public park anywhere in this country. Now you have to have a degree pick up trash. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, they have a college degree to pick up trash in the in your in your local city, county, or state federal park now. State, federal, community, state, park. Doesn't matter. It's a community, is it a county, state, or or our national park or a state park. You have to go through college to get a college degree to pick up trash. And this is according to Obama. This is according to the Obama regime himself. Yes, the fa the the favor of Chicago, the anointed one, the terrorist in the White House. Uh, yes, and this is why they're repealing all executive orders right now because he's trying to give also legal immigrants license here uh, down taxes, as you know, and like places in California, it's going to create um, more of a deficit. For the state, over three point four billion dollars of tax revenue that is going to the, that the American people, American citizens, the people who have uh, the property owners, are going to pay more taxes on this to support these people who limit immigrants who are here in this country. Why do we have to have that burden for? Why why give that burden to uh, uh, to the farmers? Or to the business owners, you know, who have, you know, say you have the, um, the little business. You've already been taxed enough already, property tax, and it's going to go 20% higher. 20% increase on your property tax. That's what Bone wants to do in taxes, by the way. I guess he figures he's got to get the money up somehow to uh, try and get the deficit down. Uh, and as you know, uh, Donald, the, and, and Mr. Trump, Mr. Trumpy, is now... And where's this place at? Spain. He's in Spain now. The Mr. Trump is in Spain right now, trying to get donations. Mm -hmm. I read that. Uh, I, okay. Uh, what What happened to American dollars? I thought America. I thought he was going to make America great again. He's got to go to Spain to get to get money. He's got to go to Zurich. No, He's gonna go to Zurich to get uh, the guy go to um, the, the Swiss bank to get the, to get a loan. Is that uh, to get his campaign going? I mean, if that's not a kickback, I don't know what is. If it's not if that's not lobbying. Is that is that not being a lobbyist? I don't know what is. I mean, he's guilty right there. Well, apparently, oh, Trumpy does not have the money that he's claiming he has. And this is another reason why he probably doesn't want to release his uh, income tax return. return. Yeah. Because no. it'll prove that, number one, he, he paid very little in taxes. And number two, he does not have the funds that he claims that he's at, he has. Which tells me he truly is not, he might have all these businesses, but that does not make him a billionaire. Right. He owns money, I know that. He owes big, big money to these donors, to us. Well, he does. Yeah. Uh, in order to be a billionaire, you have to have some kind of funds available to you that are in excess of millions. Yep. You have I to know. have all that money available to you at a moment's notice, and he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's, you know, he's lying on that front. He's just, he's just lying. And he had the audacity to call Hillary a liar? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, uh, well, he called Hillary, yeah, he's, you know, he called, he called lying Ted already. Now he's calling lying Hillary. Yep. And it, you know, what, what's the saying? Um, birds of a feather flock 
together. together. Yep, bridge the fire fuck together. That's why I said, yeah, that's why I close it up already. I said that already on Facebook. And it takes one to know one. So if he if he says Hillary's a liar, then he must be a liar too. Right. Yep, that is true. You know, and that's exactly what we do here on this little network. They expose what's really happening, give you the news, and let you and let you wave in on it. I mean, that's not attacking. That's not doing a personal attacks. I'm not, I don't hang up on the guests. Let the guests speak what they want to talk about. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, um, I just, my own group is, is, is one of the admins is now saying, um, don't get your hopes up. Where in regards to Ted winning the nomin nomination. And I confronted her last night on it and asked her, I said, why are you being so negative? You know, it, it's yeah. It should be, be negative. You know what? It, it, like I said, I'd rather be on the positive side than be on the hateful side because you know hate doesn't work anymore. Hate doesn't work. It really it can be mad, it can be angry, but you know what? When everything's said and done, who's the one who's going to get? Who's the one who's going to get hurt the most? The people who have anger and fear get hurt the most. The people who have of their own moral mentality issues are going to be wrestling with that. And, you know, they're, and, and they're, they're not just hurting themselves, they're hurting other people around them. That's why people don't, you know, people don't hang, they don't, people don't like hanging out with negative people. Why? Because negativity is also the is also the um, the um, medicine doctor for uh, for evilness, and you're letting the devil come in your life. That's what the, people don't recognize. That, but that's what they do. Uh, I, it, it, oh, you know, Doctor Phil had had this had a had a program out years ago about this. You know, how steady people have issues. A lot of people with anger. Have own person, their own, they're dealing with their own uh, uh, moral issues that relates to any kind of relationship. You know, it, it, it can, it, it's, it's damaging. And, <laughs> and you know, this is uh, um, all Donald Trump is doing is trying to be a voice. For evilness, yep. he's an image for evil. That's what Donald Trump is, and the people who don't understand that, they are the ones that are in sin. They're the ones that don't understand our personal relationship with Christ. They have no personal relationship with Christ, and you gotta have it. I'm telling you right now, you gotta have it. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You really do. I mean, this is not like any other program you're going to hear out there. Even Fox News won't even talk about biblical way we're doing it. They won't go into details. I mean, they'll have a they'll have a uh, they they'll have a priest on, but they won't have the way the, the way we're discussing that our platform is. They don't do that. We do it here. Why? Because all lives matter, and we don't play the race card. We don't do the get you got you questions. We don't. They don't fill your brain with um, Nutrisystem or or, or, or or Jenny Craig. We're not here to do that. All we're here to do is give you give you a chance to have an opinion, give you a chance to have a voice, that you have uh, a real true voice for freedom, and that's what we do here on this network. That's what we're about. It's not that hard to do, folks. It's not that hard to do. If you let the guests speak of what they want to talk about, and bring, and all you gotta do is bring the news out to them, and let them speak. Um, Trish, I know I haven't given that much airtime, so I'm gonna let you do that um, in the next segment here. So we'll 